we are here with Kutala in the water queue. Uh, Kutala, can you please tell me what do you do in, in life? Well, besides being a mom, um, I'm running a very um, small company, but it's also just expanding in terms of um, bringing education um, to, I would say, to the children of this country. That's what we're focusing at at the moment. Um, we're running um, a company that deals in sanitation, pollution. Um, we also concentrate a bit on the energy side, um, solar energy, renewable energy. But it's most importantly an eco-friendly business, which I think um, it's very critical at the moment. You know, there is a lot of concentration around green energy, um, going green. You know, um, the buzzword is actually green. And if you think about it, water as a source of life, you know, it's what brings life um, to the environment, to the people um, that um, every day actually we use it and it's what gives life and therefore everything becomes green um, because of the water. So it's quite exciting and um, because we are at the research um, stage right now, it's very interesting the information that we're gathering. Um, knowing that there is a shortage of water, it's actually quite a scarce resource and a lot of times we take it for granted, I must say, even myself, I have taken it for granted at some point, but now I've learned to appreciate you know, how important water is and that um, we should take care of it and it will take care of us. I have understood that uh, this Thursday will be an important day for you. Why? What are you going to do? Okay, this coming Thursday I will be doing training um, um, at a school in Pretoria. It's German school and uh, we will be teaching children about conserving water. Um, actually the problem that we registered um, on the UN Habitat um, website for the World Water Day, it was saving water, um, saving our world and um, saving ourselves basically from potential conflict which is, you know, when we don't have water, it's basically, you know, going to become, you know, one off, you know, um, the things that is going to cause us, you know, to go against each other because the little water that will be there, we will be all wanting it. And normally, you know, people want things for themselves. So the little that will be there, I probably will be wanting it only for me and my family and there'll be lots of other people that are looking for that. But the exciting part is, you know, we'll be teaching children, hopefully, you know, trying to um, get across a message that they will carry on to the next generation, to their children, to their children's children, that water is an important and a scarce resource. Therefore, we need to take care of it. Thank you very much for this interview. And I wish you uh, all the best of luck next Thursday with your activities. And can you please tell us again, what is the name of your company? The name of the company is Six Nine. Um, in, in in South Africa, when people talk about you know the words, it's actually a lingo. Um, you would say that you know, kind of sort it out. That's when you're local, you'll understand what that means. Um, a lot of people, when I say the name of the company, it's Six Nine, they laugh at first, but it's actually quite exciting because they get a message right away to say that they know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So in in a way, it's about you know when you say Six Nine, you know, talking about going to the loo. But more than that, you know, um, sanitation saves lives as well. So that's why we, we decided on the name. And we think that it will be exciting, you know, taking the message forward. That when you talk about 6 9 it's about saving lives. You know, more than just relieving yourself normally, but you'll be saving life in the process. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Okay. Thank you.